All right, got this 100 watt Renogy Eclipse solar panel squinting right at the sun. And I replaced the diodes last night in here, so. Check out the power, 5.5 amps. <laughs> and I also checked the voltage on here too, it was up a little bit. So, hmm. You know, if something doesn't look right, feel right, probably isn't right. So I'm really glad I swapped out these diodes. I'm using my Fluke 117 True RMS multimeter in diode checker mode. And if I'm doing this wrong, please let me know. This is a bag of my suspect bad diodes, and they may not be bad per se, but not as good as some of the other ones I have in the other bag. So what I'm doing is checking the reverse side to make sure it is open. And it is. And I swap the leads around. Listen. You hear that chirp? 0 0.0131. And that's the Renogy diode that came with the solar suitcase. Now, Here's a bag of good ones that I think are good. I bought 20 of them off the internet. Now check this out. This is the forward, or I'm sorry, the reverse. It's open like it should. Swap it around, listen. Do you hear that nice steady tone that inc indicates to me that it is a dead short? whereas the other one just chirped. If you know what that means, let me know. But from what I can tell is that solid tone is what you want to hear. And as I showed at the beginning of this video, guess what? It's working better with those ones with the long steady tone. So I think there are probably even better diodes out there, but uh, I'm glad I found this and hopefully it'll help you guys out too. And again, this may not be the most scientific you know, engineering degree type way of checking them, but uh, this is the way I did it, and hopefully this helps you out too. All right, guys, take care. See you later.